Hey there. Uh, we got Apple up looking at the daily chart. Today is uh, Wednesday, September 27th. And what I wanted to point out in this video is, first of all, how StockOptionAssassin.com uses Fibonacci levels and uh, Apple is really kind of respecting these levels a lot right now. And I wanted to kind of show some of the uh, the way that we're using it and the way that Apple uh, is is respecting it. So um, what I want to focus on is this last you know month, I guess, uh, really from, from mid-August. We can go back here, but I don't want to go too far back. So, um, you know, when we find our first kind of impulse leg, is, is which, which is kind of a swing low to a swing high, and what we do is typically look at the retracements and extensions to find levels of entry and, and exit for uh, some of our trades. So if I draw a fib from this low to this high, you can see how we kind of hit this 392 area resistance. We pulled back to the 618, and the 618, also known as the golden ratio, is often a good place to uh, get back in. You know, when they say buy the dip, you know, this is a lot of times what we're looking for, the 618. Now, keep in mind, Apple in the long term is an uptrending stock, so we're often look to buy the buy points, and we don't try to sell too much on an uptrending stock, which makes you know, sense to most people. So, um, so we pulled back to the 618, kind of got back up here. We eventually broke out of this 392 area, and once you have this pullback, the 618 pullback, and you break the high, previous high, there's a 70 or you know high 60 percent chance, 70 percent chance that you're going to get to this 27 extension, and then a slightly lower chance that you'll get to the 618. And you can see Apple easily got to the 27, got to the six the 618 extension, you know broke past it, but ended up closing below it twice, and then it's pulled back. So once this pullback occurred. Um, then we kind of drew this an, sort of a fib, overlaid this fib on top of the more recent leg up. You can see how now the 618 that was, you know, we bought the 618 here. The 618 we bought, we tweeted this out Monday. We said, okay, uh, if Apple pulls back to um, 391.50, I think is what we, we set it at, which is sort of in between this level and this level. We said if Apple pulled back to 391.50, we're going to buy some calls, and you know, just look what it did that day. It pulled back. This was yesterday, and then um, really took off. We've already hit our first target, which I'll go over in a minute, and we're we still hanging on to a couple of the calls. But you can see this candle is kind of black, so you know we'll, we'll we're just going to let these ride out for a little bit. Um, so that is one way that Apple's you know almost a textbook pullback trades here, two of them in a row, uh, which is really nice. So the beauty of this is, you know, once you decide that this is a pullback, you know, we put the buy order in for this 391.50 like three days prior. We actually put it here. Um, and we said, okay, if Apple pulls back to 391.50, then, uh, then buy the calls. And then it just automates the order. The order hits. And then we add our sell, uh, sell targets. And our sell targets, let me zoom in a little bit, are basically the first targets, the 382, 382 of the A to B leg. Um, let me bring in the 382 real quick. So you can see on the same day, we bought and sold some calls, and it was pretty much automated. We did have to add the, the sell in. but And then now we're looking for a move to this to the uh, 618. So if Apple gets up here, we'll probably get rid of uh, the rest of the calls or maybe hold on to one or two contracts. Um, but also when you draw this A to B downlay, you can see that the extensions are also lining up pretty much perfectly with the 786 retracement with the 27.2 and the 618 extension with the 100%. The so uh, this makes it a lot easier. You have a lot more confidence when you're taking these trades. Um, so now, you know, what do we do now? And, and this is what I wanted to leave you with. A potential setup uh, may take a few days to occur. But um, let's go ahead and take these fibs off now to clean up this picture. So the next thing we're looking for is for the B to C leg to complete. So what would be <clears throat> ideal would be for the B to C leg 
to complete somewhere in this area in this between the 618 and 786. Um, then let me take this off because I'm not going to be able to duplicate this right. Then when you when we duplicate do excuse me duplicate this leg. So so there's a one to one symmetry of the pullback. You get back up here the the other pullback. If this happens, this becomes the D leg. You can see that of the original impulse leg that this lines up with the 786. So this would be a very good buy signal. Now we would actually have to kind of get back up here or you know come close. You know, it doesn't have to be exact here, but this would be a good buy signal. So we're looking to buy at D. That's one potential trade. Now you can see, you know, this this pullback took one, two, three, four, you know, four days. We may need a couple days back up and a few more days down. So this may be next week. Um, for example, if if this pattern plays out in this way. Um, the other possible thing is if Apple, this becomes the C leg here, and then the one to one symmetry, symmetry puts us down here for D, then this actually lines up with the 886, which is still a, you know, a good place to long. However, I would probably take a half position on this. So those are the two sort of B to C, C to D scenarios. Uh, if we get up here, we're looking to buy this 127, or which is the 786, and up here we're looking to buy the 886. Now the other scenario is, uh, which is always possible, um, if Apple continues to go up and closes above this high, we think there's a 70% chance that you'll get to the 436, which is the 27 extension. So a close above here and we would you know we could buy we could get along here and feel comfortable with that uh, with the stop at this uh, down here so hopefully this helps um, you know it explains how we use Fibonacci other people do a similar way other people have different styles but that's a basic premise of how we do it here at stockoptionassassin.com and you know if you guys have any questions or anything about our methods or about these, this particular trade, uh, just hit us up and we'll talk to you then. Thanks.